Write the equation for the slant asymptote for the following function. In order for you to know that you have a slant asymptote, one thing needs to happen. The degree in the numerator has to be one higher than the degree in the denominator. Does that happen here? Yes, it does. Now, the way we set this up is we do polynomial long division. It's important for you to understand that if we're going to do polynomial long division, everything has to be in order. And anything in between or at the end that's missing has to be filled in with zeros. What do I mean? Well, the numerator is always the guy that goes into the division symbol. So I'm going to go 9x to the fourth. I'm missing an x cubed here. So I have to replace that with 0x cubed. And then I keep going in order. Minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 6. Make sure it's in descending order. And if it's not, change it that way. Now this guy is going to be the factor that's being divided from it. So I'm gonna write that over here. And even though it might not be necessary, I always like to add those extra things at the end that aren't there. Like I'm missing an X and I'm missing a regular value. So I'll add zero X and I'll add zero. Is it necessary? I don't know, but I do it anyway. This is how you do polynomial long division. Three X cubed times what? gets me 9x to the fourth. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and x cubed times x is x to the fourth. Take that number and multiply it to the entire factor. 3 times 3x squared is cubed is 9x to the fourth. This will always be the same unless you did something wrong. 3 times x, or 3x times negative 4x squared is going to be negative 12x cubed plus 0x is three times zero plus zero x that should be squared my bad now you subtract this entire row which means you flip the signs of everything in here this will disappear this will become regular 12 x to the third drop down the minus 5x squared drop down the 3x now this last part, oh, and always drop down the negative six, even though it's not that important. Now, why did I just whisper that? How dare I say it's not that important? Because my next step is to repeat what I did at the very beginning. Three X cubed times what gets me 12 X cubed? Well, three times four is 12. And X cubed times one is X cubed, so I don't need anything more. Now, at this stage, I'm done. And if you might be thinking, well, well, you have to multiply four to that and find your remainder. No, I don't. I don't care about the remainder when it comes to my slant asymptote. Once I get a linear equation in slope intercept form, I have my slant asymptote. And the equation for my slant asymptote is 3x plus 4, y equals 3x plus 4. And that is a line in slope intercept form. So that's it. I'm done.